I immediately think about George Kondo. I think about George Kondo and how Kondo will create these many different perspectives of viewing a face from either the front, the side. You understand there'll be different sets of, of teeth, of smiles, of, of the nose, the eyes. And, you know, you can see that done you know, um, within the face of this pig, man. And I really admire this young man's color choice. You understand? There is a great balance between the cool colors and the warm colors. You know what I'm saying? If you're familiar with, uh, you know, the color wheel, your warm colors are going to be your yellows, your oranges, your reds, your cool colors are going to be your blues your greens, your violets, and there's there's a great balance, you know what I'm saying, and, and he's even found a way in this piece to incorporate the traditional red, white, and blue, you understand, without having the painting as a whole be as basic as those three colors, and so some of my favorite parts is the fact that you can see the porky pig um similarity in in one of the inner pigs faces uh that i'm zooming into and i really love on the far left of this pig's face the the black background with the white outline of the the snout um because it just it has so many different dimensions to this piece and um I, i've seen that he's described you know, this process of him juxtaposing these different uh, techniques in one spot. Um, and he likens it to a kaleidoscope, which I feel is very, very accurate. Um, yeah, man, I really, really enjoyed his piece because he definitely allows... Allows my eye to travel across a lot of different places uh, throughout the painting. Um, for the the face of his portraits alone, you can spend at least at least two to five minutes, you know, finding where the different lines will take you and, and what certain lines will define as far as the the overall shape of the painting, and it definitely. Yeah, it allows for a lot of suggested movement for you to move throughout the face and and really just find a lot of nuance because there's a smiling face in there. There's a face that looks really stern. And I really appreciate that there is so much nuance in a face, uh, which is very true about people in general. You know, you have a certain demeanor or a poker face on the outside and you never know what emotions and what feelings are churning behind the face that you can see. And so Malik does a great job of, of extracting and, and pulling all those different nuances, all those different emotions to the surface. And um, I'm, I'm always a huge fan of having a resting point within art. Uh, and I feel as though this artist does a great job of, of being able to control his chaos there is there's chaos in the face in that there are so many different colors there are so many different techniques used all in one spot and it's all contained within the form of a face and you know flanking that face you have this very solid uh white to almost gray scale or, or cream background uh that i feel like really accentuates the face and and, and this really dark um was maybe like a patello blue uh, or a navy blue that is the shirt um and yeah man like he uh he has a great range a great range i can tell that this artist um has has certainly never uh strayed away from you know just your basic technical drawing skills where you're focusing on line work you're for, uh, focusing on um on proportions you 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 do he does all the the little things well and then he finds his room to also play on the canvas uh another one of my favorite parts is on the arm where you see 
Uh, what reads to me is like very electric. It reads to me like a, you know, like when you read sound, uh, when sound portrays itself through vibration. And so that arm looks very static. Um, just reading to me, you know, knowing, um, knowing pigs, <laughs> knowing, knowing cops as I've, as I've experienced them, um, very easily triggered, you understand? And so that, that line itself, it either reads as, you know, strips of hair or a longer arm. And it then also just reminds me of this very like wound up energy and, and quick to react and respond uh, most often in, in a negative way. And so, yo, I, I really I appreciate this piece, man. Um, like I said, being a fellow artist that deals in agitprop and presenting a, a visual that then uh, includes its own narrative, you understand, where this piece I'm certain would agitate um a police officer um in a lot of ways that it should also hold up a mirror to that officer because he includes parts of the pig right that show uh humanity and in, in the smile and this you know person drinking coffee eating donuts like you know any any other person would though it also shows in these darker tones more of the menace and more of um the the greed in in the way that the the form of the pig is built and him being you know hefty and a little slouched to show you know their laziness so it has a lot of information there and it presents a lot of these nuances in a very beautiful way yo so um get familiar with this brother man again this is Malik Roberts I've included his Instagram handle uh, underneath, and uh, this piece was done in 2016, so it was definitely aged well. Um, so, yo, salute to you, bro. Continue to create work that agitates. And, um, yeah, yo, so this is episode one of Canvas Killer Critiques. Um, yo, drop any comments. Um, also, leave the names of any artists that you may want to see represented on this platform. Just to have a candid conversation surrounding what the content and the subject matter is. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Subscribe if you have not already. So you can tune in to the next video. I'm um, going to keep these drones as short and sweet as possible. You know, I uh, don't want to be too long winded. want to just speak to the the, the most gripping and, and, and um, upfront details of, of the artwork show. So again... This is Canvas Killer here of Canvas Killer Critiques. We have just critiqued Malik Roberts' painting, Porky the Motherfucking Pig. You know what I'm saying? Check this brother out. Follow his work and invest. Invest, man. Put some, some money aside to collect one of these art pieces because the trajectory of his career is certainly taking off. So don't be left behind, y'all. All right, y'all. We'll see you soon. Peace.